Welcome once again to Red Talk TV. According to reports in the Middle East, Sheikh Jassim is considering a last bid to buy Manchester United. It has emerged the Qatari billionaire is willing to go as high as £6 billion, which has long been considered the Glazers' asking price. Now, the Americans could be about to show their true colors and what their intentions have been the whole time. Back in November, the Glazers confirmed they were open to a potential sale of United. And it then quickly became clear they wanted as much as £6 billion to part ways with their asset, which they've owned ever since 2005. As of Monday afternoon, no interested candidate has presented an offer that high. Sir Jim Ratcliffe was reported to be the front-runner, but he's not opted to bow to the Glazers' demands. Sheikh Jassim could, however, be about to change the game. Reports over the weekend indicated, Sheikh Jassim was preparing an offer that would meet what the Glazers have been looking for the whole time. For now, Sheikh Jassim is merely considering another bid. He hasn't submitted anything new, and there's still a chance he won't, having previously insisted his third offer would be his last. But this takeover saga has taken many twists and turns already, meaning a further one can't be ruled out. Throughout the process, there have been several suspicions leveled at the Glazers. And one has been that, this is all a ruse for them to retain some stake in the club, no matter how big. Even as minority shareholders, they would profit from the Red Devils, something they've been doing ever since their own takeover 18 years ago. When it became evident they wanted £6 billion, or offers north of that fee, conspiracy theorists believe this was a way of ensuring they stay in power. So if Sheikh Jassim comes forward as a man willing to match that price, what then? Should the Glazers reject that offer in favor of Ratcliffe's, which would allow them to stay, then it would potentially trigger a backlash unlike anything before. It would further fuel the belief that they just don't care about United fans, despite the club being one of the biggest on the planet. And it could see Eric Ten Hag suffer further, as he looks to bring everybody together amid his mission to bring the glory days back. Sheikh Jassim insists he's serious about United. He wants 100% control, and this seemed to be proving difficult to obtain so far. He won't budge on that either. And he remains in the race as the Rain Group prepare to get back to candidates later in the week. What ultimately happens remains to be seen, with the clock ticking down. We'll keep you updated on this developing story, as the Manchester United takeover saga continues to unfold. Stay tuned to Red Talk TV for more updates and analysis.